guys so today I thought I would go ahead and do a tutorial on how I created these watercolor medallions I used watercolor paper and watercolors to create them as well as the mama elephant stamp set called fly with me I don't have it with me at the moment I still have to clean my stamps and do all that stuff but I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you guys are interested along with the dies I love how these turned out so this is the first one i have i love the colors on this this is like a blue green and i watercolored the entire medallion and i have a little um, scallop punch behind the elephant and i just think it came out really cute i added some little rhinestones that i got from my friend danny thank you danny and that's that one and then this one's a more pinky purple one same thing, I did little splatters of watercolor that you'll see in a minute. And then this one's more um, light purple to dark purple. So if you wanna see how I created these, then just keep watching. First you're going to need a strip of watercolor paper. This is uh, one by 12. I also have my paintbrush that I'm gonna be using. This is the Ranger number no. six paintbrush. I have some water, my heat tool that I'm gonna go ahead and set aside, and my watercolors. My watercolors were gifted to me by my crafty BFF Amador, and I believe he picked these up at Michael's. So I don't play with these enough. Like I really, I really want to start because I really like the look that it gives. Um, usually, I just use my um, Timothy Distress inks and markers, but I really like um, playing with the watercolor palette. So first off, what I'm going to go ahead and do is pick the colors that I really want to use. So you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I have a pink one, a purple one, and almost like a blue-green one. So I think I'm going to do, I don't know, maybe like a yellow one? Maybe I'll try yellow. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of yellow, but I mean, it might look cute. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a watercolor expert. I'm no Christina Warner. <laughs> um, but I try. I'm going to start on the end. And I'm not going to color like end to end. I want you to see that, um, that it's actual watercolor paper and that I actually painted it. And you notice that I keep going into the water and going over it and spreading spreading it it's because I want it to get lighter in the middle like that so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side like that And I'm not being, you know, neat in any way. <laughs> then I'm just gonna go to the color next to it. Do the same thing, kind of just dab it off a little bit. Overlapping those two colors. Grabbing some more water. Just spreading that out. And then when you get to the middle, I just like to blend. I actually think I'm going to go in with a bit of, oh, what the heck. Let's do like a bit of orange. We're gonna make it like happy. Actually, maybe we should do the orange on the ends. I know it looks harsh and crazy, but the more you blend it out, see? Like so. So quickly before this dries, 
Gonna grab some more water and then just blend that out. This is like super summery. <laughs> so now that we have that painted, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my heat tool off camera and I am going to um, make sure this is completely dry. So now that your strip is completely dry, you're just gonna go ahead and take it over to your scoreboard and you're going to score every quarter inch. And you kind of have to do this a little rough because <laughs> it is thick watercolor paper. And so it's not the easiest to score, but once you get the hang of it, like I was doing it real fast before because I just had made it couple already so. so now that that's all scored you're just gonna go ahead and do mountain valley fold so I let my hot glue gun heat up for this next part and you're actually gonna go ahead instead of using adhesive because this is so thick to me like, I would normally just use like ATG gun tape or like you know wet glue or something but I want something that's going to really make it you know hold together and so I'm gonna be just using some hot glue now I cut this little tab off because I want it to sit perfectly like so so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some hot glue to one of the tabs on the end I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that on top I'm gonna set that aside while it's drying I have my mat that goes through my Sizzix Big Kick um, embossing machine and I only have it for the purpose of um, so I don't get hot glue on my desk I don't have a a craft mat yet because this is all you know my new work surface my new desk and everything so I don't want to ruin it so I'm just gonna go ahead add some hot glue to my little one inch circle that I cut I used this punch I don't know where it's from oh okay I got it at the paper studio so we have that right there I'm gonna go ahead set that aside flip this over Hold it tight and place that in the middle and then hold it tight. Like that. So see, it just pops right off. Get rid of any little extra glue strings and there's your medallion. So while that was drying, I just went ahead and um, use my scallop punch. This is the Recollections one and a half inch punch. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my watercolors again. Which you totally could have did this when you had your watercolors out, but <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so I am just going to real quickly pick a color. I'm thinking since I have so much like orange. Maybe I'm just gonna go like a yellow. Like a dark yellow, kind of. Get some water, kind of spread that around. Don't be too um, clean with it. And that's all you need. So that's gonna dry. While that's drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my medallion and I love making, I don't know, the watercolor with this stuff, um, the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Pearl. I just love it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my medallion. I'm just gonna go ahead and shake this up so it gets all the product throughout the water or the solution and just spray it a couple times and set that aside to dry. And, what the heck, I'll just do it to this one too. 
And then we're just gonna go ahead and color in our elephant. This is the one that I chose because it is the only one that I have left. As you can see, um, I already created this one, this one, and this one. And there are four elephants in the stamp set. Like I said, I'll have that link down below in case you guys wanna go check it out. So this is the only little guy I have left. So the colors I'm going to be using for my Tim Holtz Distress Markers are these. So I have Hickory Smoke for his body. I have Spun Sugar for his ears. For the balloon, I chose a light yellow. I have Squeezed Lemonade and a darker yellow, I have mustard seed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be needing this, but we'll see. Um, also, for the cheeks, I have picked raspberry. I know that sounds kind of weird, but when it goes on, it's not harsh. I think because my marker is a tad dry, um, but that's what I'm just gonna use for now. So I have my water brush. This is a Brea, I think it's Brea, Brea Rose. Reese, sorry. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. I also have a white gel pen because I'm going to be doing little um, glistening marks on his cheeks. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first off, I'm going to take the brush tip of my uh, Hickory Smoke and I'm just going to outline certain points on him. The way I color with these, there's no like, <laughs> I wish I could tell you like there's a secret to the way I do it and there's, I, there's not. Um, <laughs> I just, whatever I, I don't know, whatever I feel like I want to add the darkest shades to, that's just what I do. I know some people are like, the light hits here and I, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I probably should, but I don't. Um. This is just what I do. So like, see, I think like that's enough. Maybe like a tiny bit here. Yeah. So. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start coloring him in. I miss coloring, you guys. I was able to color today because I mentioned in my video, um, my first video back, that my craft desk is in my living room, basically. So it's a lot easier for me to like craft now because I can, you know, I can get projects done because I'm sitting at my desk and I'm looking at the kitchen table and my kids are playing with like a bunch of Legos. So, you know, I can watch them and still do what I want to do. So that's good. Talk about multitasking. So that's how I was able to get some crafting done today. So it's a bummer that I don't have like my craft room anymore, but my daughter's happy and I'm able to multitask like this. And if that means I can get more projects done, then that makes me happy. So, <laughs> um, so next I'm just gonna go ahead and get my sponge sugar. My markers are a little bit dry. I have the refresher, but I just don't do it. It's my own fault. Um, yeah, so I, it's something I have to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color in his ears. So now I'm going to go in on the balloon and I'm going to, I think first I'm going to use my squeeze lemonade and just go around the edges of the balloon. I might not need that mustard seed. We'll see. Because what I do is I kind of leave um, 
some of the color around the edges and I just, if that makes sense, I just blend in towards the middle. So I still have that like harsh line where I actually colored and I'm just blending in some of the color and it gives me that kind of dark effect around the edge of the balloon still and I have the color blended in the middle and it's light. I hope that made sense. <laughs> And so now I'm going to be using my picked raspberry for his cheeks and I'm just going to do the slightest little dot. Go in there. Kind of blend that out. So then I have my gel pen and I'm just going to make two little white dots on his cheek. So back to the medallion, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over and I'm just going to add some hot glue to the edge, like so. And I'm just going to press that down in the center. I'm actually going to flip it over and press down. Then I have my foam tape and I'm going to be cutting off some pieces to stick behind my elephant. First, I think though, I'm going to spray him with some more of this spray. Okay, so now that he's all sparkly, I'm gonna see where I need to place him and what pieces I'll need for my adhesive. This is gonna be for the underside of my balloon. And this is gonna be for his body. I'm gonna press that down. And yes, I could just adhere this on to it, but I'm crazy and I like to make sure that it's gonna stick. So I'm just gonna add some hot glue to the foam and press down. I should have used my, my fine tip pretty glue gun that Irene sent me. And now see, you just kind of figure out where you want to place it. Obviously he's like totally coming off the medallion, but I think that's really cool. Like that. I have this pack of yellow rhinestones that my friend Danny sent me. She sent me a big pack for um, Valentine's Day. And I think it's so, so cute that the color of the rhinestone is going to match the, the balloon. So I'm gonna take my one rhinestone Add one to the top. And then a smaller one beneath it. So there's the medallion. I totally love how it turned out. At first I really thought like the yellow was gonna be like kinda eh, ugly. Um, but I really love it. Look at them all, they're so adorable. And I love the colors, they just go together so well. So there's my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to me, you can go ahead and do so by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I upload, just hit the notification bell. I had a lot of fun playing with my watercolors and crafting again. It feels so good to be back. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.